Reports of 11 bomb threats made against Jewish centers across the United States. That's happened. Now we've got Hillary Clinton tweeting about that. Listen to this. JCC threats, cemetery desecration, and online attacks are so troubling, and they need to be stopped. Everyone must speak out, starting with the President of the United States. Come on in, please. David Rubin, the former mayor of Shiloh, Israel, frequent contributor to this program. It makes it sound like uh, Mr. Trump's to blame for these attacks on Jewish cemeteries. Well, first of all, President Trump has already spoken he out. Did. Spoken he did out this very, morning. Very clearly this morning. And uh, look, the, the attacks, uh, we know about the neo Nazis. We, we've always heard about that. But we don't even know who these attacks are from. Well, has, we, ha, has the Trump administration fostered uh, a feeling of hatred and violence? Because that's the implication from what the left is saying. There is great division in, in the country, but, but I don't think that it comes from Trump. Uh, there, it was a very divisive campaign. And uh, I think we need to be talking about the Islamo-Nazis, and we need to be talking about the far-left Nazis, because the, the main anti-Semitism today is coming from the left and from the Muslims. Okay. Got that? That's, yeah. some, that's something that, that we tend to ignore. And uh, look, the, Is that the feeling in the Jewish community in America? It's, well, I, th I think that it should be. I, I, Is I, it? I, I, don't, I don't know. I know that there are many Jewish liberals who are out there at these ridiculous I am a Muslim too rallies. Uh, do, does that mean that, that they support jihad? Does it mean that they support holy war against all non-Muslims? If they're saying, I am a Muslim too, does that mean that they support wife beating, which is prevalent in Islam? And uh, does that mean that they support having four wives, which is prevalent in Islam? I don't think that they support those things in the liberal Jewish world. I think that's, I'm warming you up. I, I can sense that that was a pretty strong response. <laughs> well, well done, Your Honor. But, well that, but that is the reality. I understand. We, you have got to, it. We, we have to be honest about this. Will you address uh, Melania Trump, First Lady? leading a rally in, all, in Florida over the weekend by saying the Lord's Prayer. I thought it was great. You did? Absolutely. I, I, I thought that, uh, uh, that saying a prayer is something that is traditional, started with George Washington. George Washington said a prayer at the Hebrew congregation of Savannah, Georgia. And he said to the congregation, congregation of Jews, and he said, I call on the divine providence to bless these United States of America through this congregation. George Washington understood the book of Genesis chapter 12 that says, I will bless those that bless you and him who curses you I will curse. That's, that's a blessing that comes through Israel. George Washington understood it. And I, I think the whole concept of saying a prayer is a wonderful thing. And I, and I thought that, that the first lady said that. I thought it was great. Were you shocked Absolutely. when she did it? Because I was